guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a macrame wall hanging. A couple things you're gonna need. So you're gonna need something to hang it on. I just have a wooden dowel rod here, and this is like the thickest one that they've got at Walmart. I think it was like 50 cents or a dollar or something like that. And then I just stained it with a stain. You can do whatever you want with it. You can use some driftwood, a curtain rod, anything that you want to hang it on. Go get it. You're also gonna need some sort of string. This is just to attach to the dowel rod and hang up on the wall so that you can like do your work and everything and not have to worry about, you know, holding it and trying to do, I don't know, <laughs> some scissors. I'm not sure which pair is the good pair, so I got them both. <laughs> Next, you need some kind of rope. You can even use yarn, but it's gonna be a little bit softer and you won't be able to see the knots as well, so I recommend some kind of a rope. Now, this stuff right here is like three or four bucks at Walmart. They have got these kinds right here and they've also got this kind right here. And I use both of these. These are a cotton and polyester blend, whereas this one is a polyester and polypropylene. Pro propylene I don't know how you say that <laughs> um, blend you can see the color difference this one's got more of a natural look and this one is just solid watt that is the difference in cotton and the polyester one or you can go and get you some of this stuff right here this is Bonnie's craft cord you can get it at Hobby Lobby um, I think maybe Michaels I know Hobby Lobby's got it for like eight bucks and there is a hundred yards in this compared to these is only a hundred feet so I have to use quite a lot of these. I think I've got eight right here and same for the longer one. But these I usually only have to use about one, maybe one and a half for one project. Here we go. Okay, so we've got the end of the dowel right here and all we're just gonna do is literally just tie a little knot on the corner of it. You don't have to make it anything too fancy. Just something like that. And go to the other side and tie another knot. Okay, so now when it comes to these little guys right here, you're really just gonna measure it off. Now, obviously, you're gonna be tying knots into a bunch of rope, so the rope is gonna shrink as you go. So you wanna make it a little bit, or actually a lot of bit longer than what you would think the length would be. Pretty much double your length, I would say. I don't really know what I'm making today. I'm just gonna make it. <laughs> so get it how long you want it to be, and then fold it in half, and that's how long it's gonna be. So for example, say you want your rope to be this long. Okay, well, now you gotta just do this right here. And right here is where you're gonna cut because we need to have a loop. That's how we're gonna attach it to the wooden dowel. So you, does that make sense? Like fold it over and make it double. <laughs> for me, for a typical project, when I use 100 foot ropes, I like to be able to cut about 10, 10 feet each rope. <laughs> this is pretty much how I do it. I don't know if it's right. This is just how I do it. So you're gonna start like this right here with these are the ropes that I've already cut and this is like the working rope. So you're just gonna attach it there and I just like feed it through just like this and then when you get to the end you just cut it obviously if you want to be all serious and whatnot you can use a tape measure but life's a little too short for me to go measuring out things one by one if it's just going on my wall you know what I mean all right here we go so once you get an appropriate sized amount of rope that you can just uh, fit your whole head into wow this kind of looks cool it's like I got sketty noodles on my head or something <gasps> Betty Spaghetti, do y'all remember her? Do in sections, maybe like 10 a piece, put it on your dowel rod or whatever you're hanging it on, and just to make sure that you're not cutting too much rope because you, you wanna save a little bit of rope for some extra decoration. We'll get into that. Just, we're not done cutting rope yet. Just know that, just know that. Also, if you know that you want your macrame project to maybe go down in a V, if you want the middle portion to be longer than the rest of it, I suggest cutting some extra long pieces for the center of it. Maybe like 10 or so in the middle be a good chunk longer Longer, just because the middle portion is probably what you're gonna be working a lot more so that ropes gonna shrink up a lot higher than the end okay so once you've got it hanging on the wall wherever you want it to go for your workspace mine's just chilling right there and you're gonna take your rope and what you're gonna do like I said earlier is you're gonna fold it in half to where the ends of that rope are like that right there and the top of it is like that right there. And you're just gonna take this, and I think this is called like a lark's head knot or something like that. So, okay, so it's gonna look like this and you're just gonna fold it over this right here. Grab it and then pull it through. And that's gonna attach it to the rod. And you're just gonna do this for every single one of the ropes. Okay, so I've got about 30 ropes hanging up here. So I've left the ends off, like if you can see, I've left a good bit on the ends because I'm gonna make another little rope come down. We'll get to that, we'll get to that. But for now, I've just got about 30 right here. You need an even number amount of ropes because you're gonna be working in groups of four. So for instance, I'm taking these two ropes right here and this is what I'm gonna use to start creating my first knots with. And this first knot is called a square knot. You cross over, take this one, go under, pull through, and pull to the top. And then take this one, go over, 
under, pull through. And you have completed your first knot. And you're gonna do this all the way across the top. So your first row will look something like this. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna alternate these square knots to make little triangle shapes like this right here throughout. And to do that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna leave these last two out. They pretend they don't exist. And you're gonna take the left side of that one knot, these two rows, and then the right side of the knot next to it, and you're gonna combine these and do the same thing and have the square knot being right here. And that's gonna create an alternate square knot or alternating. <laughs> so just like this. Just like that right there. And you're gonna do that a couple of times over depending on how big you want your triangle to be. So what I've done is I've split mine up into five. So I've started using these first five knots right here because I've got 15 actual knots. So I've split it up into three, so I'm gonna have three different triangles. And you just work that row to now you've got four. And now you do the same thing. You get rid of the first knot's like right section. Use the left section of that and then the right section of the knot next to it and you'll have a knot right underneath. And you've got your pattern. Just keep going. Here is the first one complete and I'm just gonna do two more of those and we'll be finished with this part. So after you've completed all three of them, they should look something like this right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start making these little double half hitch stitches, I think is what they're called. Essentially, you're just gonna be creating this diagonal line and it looks like twisted rope. And so what we'll do is we'll start with this one on the very end. You're gonna take the rope that's underneath it, like this, and you're gonna flip it over it and pull through and go up to the top with it. And that's gonna create like a little loop. And you're gonna do that one more time with the same rope. Now it's connected, it's latched on, and you, you will see as I go what kind of shape this is gonna start to take. Okay, so once you make it to the bottom, you're gonna just split this bottom knot into two pieces. So you're gonna use the two strands on this side to finish this side, and you're gonna put the two strands on the right side to do this side. You're gonna do the same thing, and you're just gonna pick up this rope right here, pick up the next rope beside it, flip it over it, through it, and pull it up. Just like that. And you just repeat that on all three of these triangles. <laughs> okay, now once you reach the bottom portion of this triangle, you've still got these two working ropes from either side. And you're just gonna wanna connect the two. You can either go this way or this way, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna go this way. And you're just gonna use those two ropes to connect it by doing the same exact knot. And it will look something like that. So now it's gonna be looking something like that once you're done. And this does take a lot of time, so try to just be patient with it. We're gonna be taking four ropes, again, as usual. So you're gonna have four right here, four right here, four right here, and so on. And we're gonna be making the little twisty ropes. I'm not really sure what they're called, but it's like the twist, where they, they twist together. And to do that, it's super, super simple. You're gonna start out just like you would with a square knot, and you know, fold it over, fold it under, fold it up. But, now that we are here, instead of alternating to the left side and flipping it under this way, we're gonna keep doing it with this right side. So just keep, keep doing it to the right side and eventually the rope will start to curve. And we're gonna do that on both of these sides, but I'm gonna make this one just a little bit longer than the rest. So we're gonna stop short at a diagonal with these, just like this right here, so we can go in with another row of these right here. Does that make sense? I don't know. You'll be able to see, just wait for the next frame. <laughs> so I've kind of stopped just short of the other one. Now that we're on the left side of this little workspace, instead of, see how these are all twisting in the same direction? We're gonna make these twist the other way. And to do that, instead of starting on the right side, you're just gonna start on the left side and just keep repeating that left knot 
and the ropes will start spinning to the other direction. Okay, so there you go. You've got these ropes going this way and these ropes going that way. Just gives it a little bit of a twist. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> and you just repeat that on the other two. All right, now it's looking something like this right here. And now these little rows like this that we've made, we're gonna do the same exact thing here, but we're also gonna do, we're also gonna double it. So it's gonna be a row of this and then a row of this. So it's gonna be two of them, raw her. And we're gonna get going right now. And now you just repeat what you just did there on the other two. Okay, so now it's time for one of my favorite parts. What we're gonna be doing is if you had any leftover rope from when you were cutting these, go ahead and get it right now. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna like attach it up here to this top portion. And you can attach it anywhere on here that you would like. I think what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna attach it somewhere, hmm, somewhere in this area right here. and it'll just it'll be just like this now we're going to attach rope to this portion and have it like flowy hangy downy and it's going to be really really cute all right so now for this part of the project you're going to want to make some sort of fringe i know it'll look a little different it's like day two of doing this project so hello and i just got the shower i'm all kinds of squeaky clean all right so you're going to want to make some fringe to go and dangle from this area so to do that you just take your rope and do the same thing that you've been doing it. Fold it in half, cutting in that sort of thing. From the tip of your finger to a little bit past your elbow, go ahead and snip that off. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna start doing the same little lark's head knots that we've done previously and just attaching it to this rope. And you'll start having these little dangles across the way and it'll start looking really, really cute. All right, so I changed my mind just a little bit. Instead of having this connect up here, I connected it right here and it's gonna like kind of swoop down like this. Okay, so I've gone ahead and cut 10 more ropes that I'm just gonna fill in five right here and then five on this side just because I feel like it's really empty and I don't know what else to do. So I'm just gonna fill it in and see what happens. Okay, so I just went in and added a row right here just to make it a little bit more balanced and cute and pretty. So yep, yeah, this is pretty much the finished look except for now we gotta cut the bottom half off. I'll go ahead and show you that. You can see where we had some excess rope left over and I'm just gonna trim it up to where it kinda, you know, follows this little loopy doo doo doo. So that's pretty much the end of the video. If you liked it, give me a big old thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope you all have a great day and God bless.